Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide, and a hearty shalom to the believers out there who's believing on the words of Yahweh Bahashem Shai in truth and sincerity. Come next you another lesson. Lord willing, is that a fine? Title of this lesson is No One Gets Away. You reap what you sow. All right. And you know, you have a lot of people who are oblivious to the judgment that's gonna come down. All right. Just like the, the elder did a live screen the other day regarding uh, Jake asking the question, what's the incentive? Of living righteous. What's the incentive of coming back to your how about Shabbat Shai if you're just gonna come back in the kingdom, right? Well, guess what? No one gets away, all right? You will die a grievous, horrible death. You know, you know the will of your how about Shabbat Shai. He said, well, you're gonna be beat with many stripes, all right? People think that they can just continue to live in wickedness. And that wickedness is not going to be repaid, right? So this is Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil, all right? And that's two-thirds of our people, all right, and these other nations. They believe that they're getting away with their wickedness. I had a guy <clears throat> tell one of my friends, you know, uh, that his granddad has been smoking weed since he's been here, right? For like 80 some years, he's 90 some. He's like, well, the Lord hadn't did nothing to him yet, right? So he believes that what sentence is not going to be passed. On his granddad, right? But you how about Shao Shai, right? Could, could, could really jack you up, all right? Scriptures tell you, uh, fear the one who can have your body and soul in hell, which is a condition. He can have you come back, right, as a baby without any limbs, all right? And that's hell. Because you fully conscious and you don't have all your... Your limbs function. All right, let's read this again. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men are fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yeah, they got, they, they got grandfather days are prolonged, right? Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high. Which fear before him. You see that? So it's going to be well with those who's trying to keep these commandments. All right. Who's trying to live righteous. Who's trying to offend less. All right. Why? Because no one gets away. All right. Let's go to Galatians. Galatians chapter 6. One of those milk scriptures, right? In verse 7. Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. See that? For he that soweth to his flesh shall reap of the flesh. Shall I get, shall reap of shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life, life everlasting. You see that? You're going to reap life everlasting you sow into the spirit. Scriptures so tell you that you're going to start worshiping your how about y'all shot in spirit and in truth. All right? You're not sowing to the flesh. You're trying to put away that old man. Right? Because why? No one gets away. Nobody. Let's go to the book of Second Ezra. All right? And that's, you know, that's the spirit that your how about y'all shot has to put on your spirit of repentance. Right? This is second Ezra chapter five and verse forty two. And he said unto me, I will liken my judgment 
unto a ring, like as there is no slackness of the last, even so there is no swiftness of the first. All right, so what what goes around comes around, you know. Whatever you sent out, whatever you sow, guess what you're going to reap. Let's read this again. And he said unto me, I will liken my judgment unto a ring. Like as there is no slackness of the last, even so there is no swiftness of the first. Yeah, just because you think you're going to do your wickedness now, you think you're going to get away with it later now, man. All right, scripture says he's going to leave you here and melt you. If you know anything about a melting process, it's not over fast. He's like he's turning the heat up, right? It says, verse 43. So I answered and said, Couldst thou not make those that have been made and be now and that are for to come at once? That thou mightest show thy judgment the sooner. So yeah, Ezra was asking you, how about y'all shy? Right? Can you go ahead and have everybody who's supposed to receive this judgment on the earth at the same time? Right? Because why? Ezra understood that no one gets away. And he understood that everybody has to receive the judgment, right? For the kingdom of heaven to come to pass. Alright? These souls are back. Alright? This reincarnation is all over the scriptures. That's why no one gets away. You reap what you sow. All right. Let's go to Colossians. The book of Colossians. Chapter 3. And verse 25. But he that doeth wrong. Shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there is no respect of person. See that? So you doing wrong man. Best believe you're going to get that reward. All right, you trying to follow these laws, statutes, commandments, best believe you want to get that reward. All right, no one gets away. Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 2, and we're going to start at the top. Therefore, art thou inexcusable, O man? Whatsoever art thou that judges, for wherein thou judges another, Thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judges doest the same things. Yeah, when you come into this truth, man, you got to put off the old man, all right? Because you're going to be, you're training to be a judge, right? How about Shah Shah say, can you not judge the smallest mouth? You know, he, he's training up kings, man, who's going to be able to judge in righteousness, all right? So whatever you judge, let's read it again. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whatsoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself. You see that? For thou that judges doest the same thing. So, yeah, you can't judge somebody you doing the same things, man. All right? That's, that's part of you uh, putting off the old man. All right? So, you can judge in righteousness. You judge according to these scriptures. Right? But we are sure... That the judgment of the Most High is according to truth against them that commit such things. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judges them which do such things and doest the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of the Most High? Yeah, man, nobody gets away. All right? You know, how should I say what? Get the bean out your own eye before you try and pull the moat out your brother's eye. All right? So no one gets away. Or despises thou the riches of his goodness and the forbearance and long suffering? Yeah, the long suffering of your how about shall shot. Not knowing that the goodness of the most high leadeth thee to repentance. See that? He said two-thirds of our people, right, are not gonna be led to repentance. Alright, Yahweh about shall shot has blinded them so they won't get this truth, man. Right? So they can feel that fight. Because why? No one gets away. Right, but after thy hardness and impotent heart treasures up unto thy self wrath against the day of wrath and the revelation of the righteous judge of the most high. Yeah, that's your how was shot, man. All right, all judgment has been committed unto him, 
All right? And in that day, guess what? No one's going to get away. He's going to give you reward for what you've done. Salaki. Salaki, I'm back. So, yeah, man, what, whatever you've been laying out, whatever you've been sowing, guess what? You're going to reap. Let's read this again. But after thy hardness and empty heart, which is goes back to the Hebrew word law, which is your mind, treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and the revelation of the righteous judgment of the Most High, who will render to every man according to his deeds. You see that? So nobody's going to get away, whether you've been doing righteous or whether you've been doing wickedness, right? Let's go to Jeremiah. Chapter 17. In verse 10. I the Lord, Yahabashara, search the heart, right? I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways. And according to the fruit of his doings. You see that? See that? Nobody gonna get away, man. Alright, you sow wickedness, you're gonna reap wickedness. Right, you're gonna reap the wrath of your how about shall say? All right, let's go back to Second Ezra chapter 9, right? And verse 15, it says, I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. See that? Like as a wave is greater than a drop. See that? That's how many people is going to perish in this lifetime, man. All right? When all these souls are being brought back for their judgment. All right? That's why it's over, I believe, 7 million. Apostle uh, Elder Aramla had went into the count of how many people is on this earth. And I, and I say 7 million. I think it was like 7 billion. All right, growing on an eight billion, right? That's what Ezra had seen. That's what he had requested, right? Let's jump down to verse 21. It says, And I saw and spared it greatly, and have kept me a grape of the cluster, and a plant of a great people, right? A grape of a cluster. Now, have you ever seen a cluster of grapes? And you how about y'all? He said, He's kept his, him a grape. Like as a wave is to a drop, right? It says, Let the multitude perish then which was born in vain. And let my great be kept and my plant. For I have, for with great labor have I made it perfect. See that? So you have Bashar Shah is going to give every man according to his deeds, man. All right? Like as a wave is to a drop. All right? Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. Because why? No one gets away, man. You reap what you sow. All right? And that's two-thirds of our people, and chiefly the house of Edom, man. Esau is just so-called white man. All right? This is Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 12. I'm going to start at the top. For thy incorruptible spirit is in all things. Therefore, chastenest thou them, little Shalakia. Let's start this over. For thy incorruptible spirit is in all things. You see that? So, you how about your shot? Incorruptible spirit is in all things, man. All right? There's nothing that he don't have his hands on. All right? Therefore, chastenest thou them by little and little that offend. Yeah. Little by little, he chases the ones that offend. All right? And warns them by putting them in remembrance, wherein they have offended, that leaving their wickedness, they may believe on thee, O Lord, you have by shall shall. Yeah, leaving your wickedness, man. All right? And that's what's literally talking about the one third. Who's going to what? Come back to the repentance of your by shall All right? For it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers both those old inhabitants of thy holy land whom thou hatest for doing most odious works of witchcraft and wicked sacrifices yeah man we went off big time 
all right? And also, those merciless murderers of children and devourers of man flesh and the feast of blood. You see that? So guess what? They received that reward, right? With their priests out of the midst of their idolatrous crew and the parents that killed with their own hands souls destitute of help that the land which thou esteemest above all other might receive a worthy colony of the most highest children yeah man the elect all right that one third right that grape says nevertheless even those thou sparedest as men and this sin was forerunners of thine host to destroy them little by little see that scourges for amendment right that thou it's like it not that thou was unable to bring the ungodly under the hand of the righteous in battle or to destroy them at once with cruel beasts or with one rod word right but executing thy judgments upon upon them by little and little thou gavest them place of repentance not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation and that their malice was bred in them and that their cognition would never be changed yeah you see that their the, the, the ways would never be changed, right? For it was a cursed seed from the beginning. And who is that talking about? That's talking about Esau Edom, man. All right, because what? No one gets away. For it was a cursed seed from the beginning. Needless this thou, for fear of any man, give them pardon for those things wherein they sin. You see that? So they're not going to get pardon for the things that they've done. All right? Yeah, and that's the judgment of who? Yahweh All right? So no one gets away, man. You reap what you sow. All right? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who are my teachers, who rule well, who teach well. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide. And the heart of Shalom want to say to the believers out there who's believing on the words of Yahweh by Shah Shah and truth and sincerity. Lord willing, coming to you with another lesson. Till the next time I say Shalom.